put a data set x test and x train whatever we are predicting on it was already present in like on our model which we have trained suppose if we want to train our like if we want to do the prediction based on the data set which is not present in our training which we have not trained our model with the data set okay suppose some data set which is already outside like in our case we have some data set like df under we will take it as df is equal to pd dot read no csv this salary train i have a data set salary data test dot csv now what is the content of df test just print here df underscore test so we have six columns now we need to predict the salary for this six records so how do we predict that so in this case we need to extract this years of experience as my teacher teacher underscore test is equals to df underscore test dot i lock colon comma zero dot values so what is my feature underscore test now i'll come to this point 6 comma 1 okay this is nothing but type the shape of this feature feature test okay this is nothing but the array numpy array now if you want to do the prediction based on this uh feature test okay so what we'll do y underscore right you can name anything underscore feature test is equals to this is my regression model dot what we are going to do predict is the function and then we will do it based on feature test whatever we have extracted okay now yes it will show this because my feature the shape of the feature is 6 comma 1 okay and here it clearly shows that array need to be reshaped in in this order reshape your data either using array dot reshape if your data has a single feature and we have a single feature mind it so what we need to do we have to simply we have to reshape our array feature test is equal to feature test dot reshape minus 1 comma 1 so that when we uh, transform this feature the the output should be 6 comma 1 so now what is the shape of my feature test so if we execute this y pred now and what is the value of y pred y pred feature test so you can see for the and what is the value of my df underscore test okay so my model is predicting for 3.3 years of experience the salary should be 57666 for 3.5 it's around 59000 for 7.8 years it's around 9 uh, around a million and in this not a million and 99000 so in this way using this linear regression and the different um, functions of linear regression uh, we can predict the value and please note this is a simple linear regression where your number of input is the feature where it will be only one and the number of output will also be one but in case of multiple linear regression you will have more than uh, more than one features like number of variables in your x axis will be more like in our case uh, our uh, years of experience is our feature but there will be scenarios where you have more than uh, number of features will will be more than one so in this way we can easily create our model we can easily load the data set we do a vis proper like visualization extract the features then we can do the sampling we can create the linear model and then we can also create fit our data and we can using this uh, y is equal to mx plus p we can uh, get the value or we can use the model again we can get the, the regression coefficient and we can get the y intercept and then 
we can predict based on the accent train whatever and even we can predict on the data set which is outside my the boundary of my model like the data on which we have not trained we can get the prediction on that also and the last thing is we need to also do some uh, what is my score I, I need to calculate the efficiency so in this case print step what is my accuracy so for that train train accuracy is regression score x underscore train comma y underscore train and my test accuracy will be underscore test comma y underscore test okay now we will execute this so we can my train accuracy is 94 percent and my test accuracy is 97 percent so in this way you can easily use uh, simple linear regression and do the prediction along with the other important uh, functions which I have shown. Thanks a lot for watching the session. If you feel this video is helpful, please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this channel. Also, if you want me to cover any other topic, please post in the comment section. Again, in case if you feel this, uh, I have done any mistake anywhere, please post in the comment section. I'll try to correct it. Thanks a lot.